Hi guys, welcome back to Simplistic Mystic. This is going to be a general reading for the sign of Gemini for March 2023. But whenever you come across this is when you're meant to hear it. All right. All right, hold on. It's freezing in here. I opened my window because I was saging. Okay. Let's figure out what we got going on for Gemini, March 2023. It is time to release negativity. You could find yourself stuck in toxic patterns. Could be with a Scorpio. Or this can also represent the fact that maybe you've been very negative lately. You're hard on yourself. Emotions are running high. Yeah, so you may be going through it right now. You, you may be not feeling good enough or just out of sorts, being very negative, feeling hopeless. But this can also represent toxicity that's in your life as well. That was fast. <laughs> Pay attention to red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So again, exactly what I was picking up. Toxicity here and red flags. So pay attention to things that you've seen. If this is with a person. Pay attention to things that you know are red flags. And things that you know you should have ran from. Um, I mean, I should typically am ready for love. So if there was a situation that's brought you a lot of negativity and makes your emotions kind of run on high and makes you possibly act out of character or something like that um you know <laughs> think twice about that basically worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life so things are going to be worth waiting for the thing that you, you know what's meant for you is worth waiting for what i'm saying is if you see a red flag don't you, you don't have to stay with a person because you feel like that's you know what you're supposed to be with or something like that or if you let go of this person something else is going to come around basically Five of Pentacles. Being left in the cold. If this person, and then readings can always be vice versa, so this could be talking about you could be whoever whoever you want in this story, basically. Five of Pentacles. This whole thing, in these just these five cards, feels like an extremely toxic connection. This is someone that makes your emotions run on high. There's negativity, or they're negative, or you're negative. And one or both of you are leaving each other in the cold all the time. Ghosting, blocking, whatever. Um, now pay attention to that. And, and, and there may be other red flags as well that are assigned from that. But it's just all around this just feels like the definition of a toxic relationship. Page of Swords. So remember I said something about blocking. You may be blocking each other on social media or something like that. Um, this to me is always like a social media stalking card. Or they could be stalking you. I mean, who knows? Um, or just keeping an eye on you in possibly a toxic manner of like, what are you doing? Where are you going? Who are you with? Things like that. Obviously, it's going to be slightly different for everyone watching. Knight of Cups. There is feelings here. And that's, you know, with that, it's like this, this brings up. It's not like there's not feelings here. Otherwise, you wouldn't stay with this. There's feelings here, but it's it's just a big fire, like, in not a good way. Of course, I'm using this fire tarot thing. I forget what it's called.
Ace of Wands. There's probably this is probably a very sexual connection. The passion's there for sure, and that can usually more often more often than not come along with a toxic relationship. When you know you got the sexual, I was gonna use the word juices, but that sounds disgusting. Flowing, and there's emotions and there's toxicity. It's just a big disaster. Um, you know, it can feel good at certain times. Obviously, there's feelings and passion, but at the end of the day, this situation is extremely toxic, and it is causing you to be super emotional, right? And even look at this card. It's like, I didn't even, like, realize that for a second. Those are tears. Like, this connection is causing you to probably cry way more than you should be. Okay. Check it with its head cut off. Exactly. You feel like this connection is making you feel like you're losing your mind. Overwhelm, friendly, friendly, frenzy, stress, chaos. It's like, this is just like, I can't even like pinpoint the word I'm trying to use here, but it's like turmoil. Like it's just causing your brain to go back and forth and up and down and left and right. And why is this happening? And why is he doing this? And why is this like, and like, why is he hurting my feelings and then coming back and leaving again? And blocking me or ignoring me or not answering me and then texting me a week later like this is like it's making you spiral it's making you overthink it's and it's like did you pay attention to the red flags in the beginning because if you did you would have ran a long time ago the problem with these type of connections is right here these two cards there's feelings and there's extreme passion and that puts, puts big blinders on. <laughs> you know, the passion is almost even worse. It's like, if there's good sex involved in a relationship, who cares about the flags, right? It's like, I thought I thought they were green, you know? And so, that's what's going on here. If the good Lord's willing, to, willing, and the creek don't rise, treasured object, objective, purpose, determination, smooth sailing, assistance. It's almost like you're determined to make this work. You're like, it, it can work. It's fine. Like, you know, it's just this just happened because of this. Like excuses for everything, right? Um, it's like you're determined to make this smooth sailing, but it's like it's too late. Um. Obstacles. Unhealed wounds are blocking forward movement. This is like the definition of a karmic relationship. It's fire, it's passionate, it's addictive, obsessive, toxic, back and forth. But it's here to teach you a lesson. The point of this here is, this is here to teach you a lesson about yourself. This is here to show you what wounds you have and to unblock anything that's hindering your progress, hindering what can come in for you. So... We did have this. Now remember this card. This is essentially the most important card in this reading. Is worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. You had to go through this toxic connection before you can come together with what's meant for you. Because this connection is here to teach you lessons um, and to help you heal wounds. Now this is going to give you a big wound, but it's going to open you up to where your triggers are and where your unhealed things and what's blocking you from moving forward but you know i mean take this connection for what it was it was a good time in a sense but you can't sustain something that is this toxic you know it's time it's it's it, it's time has come basically to 
cut the cord on this one. <clears throat> Soulmate. Exactly confirmed. This is, you know, soulmates can come into your life for lessons. There was a connection. There's no denying that there was a connection here. So nobody's saying that there wasn't. There was. And it can be hard to let go of, of course. You know, there wouldn't be the back and forth if you didn't feel a connection, like I was saying earlier. This is a soulmate of sorts. But but what this is, this is probably a karmic soulmate in your life. This person is, is, is there is a connection. They're supposed to be, and you're supposed to meet this person. But for a reason of evolution, okay? Alright, a couple more cards. <clears throat> oh, hold on. Wedding. Now, don't get this twisted. This is not about this person. What is this? This connection is leading you towards this. Leading you to, or towards this union. Leading you towards whatever is worth waiting for. And honestly, <clears throat> the longer you hang on to this connection, the longer it's going to take to get this. Okay? And, and listen, it's not even always about this particular, particular connection. It could be a pattern. It could be a pattern of toxic people. It could be a pattern of... Um, not respecting yourself by being with people that you know are not good for you or you know you deserve better but you're with these people because you feel like you just need somebody whatever obstacle or pattern that you are dealing with or whatever wound this caused in you if this made you feel abandoned if this made you feel not chosen not loved not good enough not appreciated whatever it could be that wound of this relationship that you need to let go before you come into union or find your the one or whatever. It could be, like I said, three things. A person you need to let go of, a, a pattern or, or a cycle that could represent this. You could always find relationships that are like this. Or this is healing the wound from this one particular instance that destroyed you, okay? third party um you know and toxic relationship and heartbreak <laughs> spiritual awakening so that's the thing here is um this is another player in your story this is a player in your game this could represent cheating there could have been cheating in this relationship i'm not going to go down that path because i don't like to put that in people's heads if it's not really showing up but what this is representing to me here is that this is another person in your story. This is a person that indirectly led you towards these two. That led you towards what you're supposed to go to. Um, so in that sense, it was a third party. It was a block. Third party is anything. It can, it can be literally a block. And so that's what this is. This is a third party. This is a karmic relationship. And this person was came into your life for a reason. And there was a connection there. Nobody's denying that. But it was it was here to teach you things about yourself and to help you move forward so that you're ready for the real one. Okay? Thank you guys for watching. If this was helpful, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to be notified when I post future videos. All my links are below. Oh, this is my Love Oracle deck. If you're interested in this deck, it's available on Amazon and Etsy. Links are below. And I will see you guys next time.